Got the sub cooler going, working on this chiller. Gonna be doing um, TXV to EXV conversions. They like said got the got the sub cooler going, and I am using the supply and return water lines. Uh, this fitting right here is junk, but it's very little wastage, and I'm using the pump to keep to help me out here. Got the uh, MR45 going on. So, yeah, I have the nitrogen going. You can see it's got pressure, right? Now watch. So putting power to it actually closes the valve. We're blocked there. Watch here. You can see it going down. This hose is connected on the other side of the liquid line solenoid valve. So that should, for all intents and purposes, have pressure in it and we should not be leaking out of here. So that is no bueno. We just added in these new EEVs, added in these two EEV modules, and what you're gonna have to do is address them properly. So here's the addressing on CC1. This is CC2. EXV module one. And EEV module two. Address is four, three, you have four, five on, EEV module two, you have three, five, and six. Uh, number six indicates end of line, so it doesn't look for anything else. It basically, it's an internal resistor, what is known as an end of line resistor. you can see BSP and bus everything is all green now I have to update the software
It's been on vacuum for 30 minutes. And we're already here. <laughs>